Are you looking at starting your own home care agency but don't know what licenses or permits to get and not sure what the process is? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be covering exactly what you need to know on getting a license and stick around for the end of the video because I give a bonus on a resource that I have direct. So welcome to my channel. My name is Scott McKenzie and I am the founder of Golden Age Companions, a non-medical home care agency based in Irvine, California. And I have been in business for over 10 years. We've generated over $8 million of revenue in the lifetime of the company. And my background is, of course, just running this home care business for all these years, but also I graduated from Pepperdine. And yeah, I started the company literally working out of Starbucks when I was 21 years old. And so it's, it's, uh, I, I like to share this because if I can do that, you know, working from Starbucks, you can too. <laughs> So today I'm covering in regards to the introduction for licensing for home care businesses. Every state is a little different. You may need some licenses in some states, other states you don't. And so I'm just going to jump in here and start explaining um, what about the licenses. So a couple things to really consider on licensing your home care business is not every state requires a license and there's different types of licenses. There's home health, which is a specific you know, medical related agency. There's non-medical home care. Sometimes it's called companion care or personal care. And there's different licenses for that as well. So uh, unlike the state you're in, the license is going to be different. For California, I know they have a non-medical home care license, which I'm going to jump in the application here and show you exactly hands-on what it looks like to fill out the California home care license application. So, of course, like, that's like, do I need to be licensed or why are they important? It's a way of regulating the entity to make sure that they're, they're operating above board and that you got to remember we're providing care these agencies are hiring caregivers, sending them to the homes of these seniors and um, the need. And it's so important to make sure that the people that are hired are quality and they're safe and that they're background checked and everything like that. So the license kind of short of it is it, it makes sure that the entity is regulated to where there's policies and procedures to follow to make sure that that company is is up to standards. Now, you know, essential licenses and permits I'll go through here. There's a business license, which is you know, obvious that's in any city that you're in, according to like the specific operations of that, um, or city, they have a specific license there. And then, you know, for, um, home care agency license, I covered that a little bit. That is essentially depending on what state that you're in, you have a, there's a specific license. So if you're doing non-medical or like can care, which that's what my agency is, it's called the non-medical home care agency license in California. And then there's a healthcare provider license. That's more for really health related businesses when it comes to medical. So this falls in lines with like, like a hospice company or there's specific health, uh, care agencies that handle like care or, um, injections. They have nurses on staff and stuff like that. And so the you know, process to acquire a new license, really the overview is you want to research, find out what the requirements are, go to the website of, of the state and find out exactly what it is that you need, what type of license that you're looking to do, what type of agency you're looking to start. And a good place to, to start there is just typing in like, example, a California uh, medical home care agency license or, you know, Nebraska, uh, healthcare license. And then you could find the, the requirements there. So every state 
has their own application process. They do generally want background checks, um, always want background checks on, on the, the people that are going to be running the business. So if you're, you know, you, you would need to go get a background check being the owner. And also sometimes there's some training, like a couple hour training to take. The other thing to think about is I know like California, they require at least a couple years of some type of experience working in the healthcare realm. They want to know that you're doing working with and in, in what your background is on that you're capable on running a home care business. So if, if you don't have any healthcare experience at all, you could consider partnering with somebody that does and or you know to the department and let them know either training is there some formal education i can get so i i can get qualified for that and then obviously preparing the documents submitting them and just like to make sure the process is actually getting the applications being processed so here is an example of california's home care licensing packet it's about 14 pages. They give like an introduction. There's a section A and a section B. So you know, A1 is just basic application. It's all your general information. That's with A2 as well. A3 is um, care organization responsibility. So that's like background, who you are, et cetera. Uh, what type of entity you are. Are you an LLC, incorporation, employee dishonesty bond? That's also a form and consent that you're filling out. Same thing with the criminal record and board of directors statement. And then you can see how they have all kinds of instructions in here on you know, pretty straightforward on filling it out and, and uh, sending it in. One thing I want to know is when it comes down to your office address, it does say here, enter the physical location of the home care organization. So that means that you definitely, for California, you are required to have a specific office address. It cannot be a virtual office or home office. That's a California thing. So whether it's even a tiny little office, um, gotta be your own company and you know, all the files and everything are stored. And I have a couple tips on you know, to get your your um space and you can also like other states that require virtual offices or like you need to get your virtual office space there's websites you can use like or alliance is one of them but um for all things in our home care agency blueprint package that we we cover that in our program and we my team actually can um depending what package you choose we can do this on your behalf so the rest is like, you know, applicant information. I'm going to jump down to section B because that's something that people have questions about. So the partnership agreement, articles of incorporation, that is the same thing when you're, when you're filing what, however you incorporate your home care agency, that is where you'll have a copy of the operating agreement and the articles of incorporation. So, and then for job descriptions, we provide that in our course. Um, our program, we actually give templates for the job descriptions, but you would need to have, I know in California, it's the job description and who reports to who they're very picky on wanting to know that, uh, policies. That's just like basically general policies on how your agency operates, what training plan you have in place for your, your employees and also your uh, program description. That's basically the description of what, how your agency operates, what your services are, and then insurance information. So that's you know, in general liability insurance. I know California requires a $10,000 dishonesty bond. That's the name of it. It doesn't cost $10,000. They just say it's a $10,000 dishonesty bond. And then of course, workers comp insurance for your employees. So, you pack it all gets assembled and it gets mailed in. It takes, you take up to three, four, five months to process. Um, that's just California specific. So I promised you guys, I would have a bonus tip at the end of the video. And that is the insurance information. So where to go get the insurance for your home care business. And this is across the board. So HPSO is a great company if you want to get uh, a quote for professional and general liability. They also offer errors and emissions. 
So HPSO, I'd recommend them. Pi Insurance is a great place for getting a quote for workers' comp. Um, ADP, then you can look into ADP. I, if you want to, uh, me or even comment in the description below the de description below, I can even give you a, uh, that I use specific at ADP, uh, you'd like their direct contact and yeah, to loop back in with my home care agency blueprint program, we, this is all covered in there and we can also do this on your behalf and we offer one-on-one -on -one support as well. Uh, as you're going through all these applications, you could be asking us any questions. Oftentimes I'm the one that will answer as well. So I'm still hands on and yeah, I appreciate you guys coming here for the video today. Thank you for being here and I'm looking forward to uh, see you guys on the next video.